This makes the fifth time I've delivered the State of the City Address, and I'm honored to have the opportunity to serve a second term as mayor. The world is quite different than it was last year when I gave these remarks. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted each of our lives in the city of Conway. We quarantined, worked from home, pulled extra duty, whatever it took to get the job done, but we never lost sight of serving the people of Conway. No one could predict what the full impact of COVID-19 might mean for the city. We didn't know what the effect might be on our sales tax revenue. We took steps to reduce spending. We delayed capital purchases and tightened our belts to ensure that we would not face the difficult decisions like budget cuts and layoffs that other cities faced. We didn't know what the strain on our healthcare system would mean for our community's well-being. What we saw was a community that came together and cared for one another. By nearly every measure, Conway has persevered. We are far from the end of this pandemic. While vaccines bring renewed optimism, I believe Conway will be positioned well on the other end of COVID-19. I say to you, the state of our city is resilient. When I began running for mayor six years ago, nearly every conversation I had uh, with folks was about streets. It became a major part of my campaign and the focus of much of my first term in office. As my second term approached, I believe it was time to hear from the residents to see how their priorities had evolved. In October, we launched our first citizen survey. The annual survey was lengthy, it was, and covered a wide range of topics. It took an average of over eight minutes to complete, yet nearly 1,500 residents responded. Here are some of the key takeaways. Conway residents enjoy a high quality of life. 83% rated Conway's quality of life as good or excellent. 85% view Conway favorably as a place to live. Conway is safe. 74% feel that Conway is a safe place to live. And Conway is moving in the right direction. 72% believe Conway is headed in a positive direction. The survey showed us what we were doing well, but it also gave us valuable feedback about areas in which we could improve. Six areas of focus became apparent. Storm drainage, street repair, recreational programming, land use, planning, zoning, bicycle and pedestrian travel, culture, arts, and music. The citizen survey provided us useful data, but its real importance is in helping to focus our new five-year strategic plan. In conjunction with the survey, I ask each department to submit to me an outline of their priorities for the next five years. The input provided by the departments and formed by the survey data has guided the strategic plan's work, which will be before the Conway City Council soon. The strategic plan centers on four key areas, infrastructure, public safety, vibrant community, and organizational excellence. It lays out a necessary roadmap for the next five years, including addressing the areas of focus identified in the survey. This plan is an important step forward for our organization and will provide clear direction as we continue the progress of the past four years. Since I have discussed the future, let me spend a few minutes on the past. I want to share with you some of the highlights of the past year. During the pandemic, the Department of Sanitation saw increased activity. Residential crews collected over 16,000 tons of trash, 2,500 tons of recyclable material, and over 4,000 tons of yard waste. The bulky item collection service fielded 1,534 requests, producing 110 tons. Steel recycling increased 118%, and the department averaged 511 roll-off pickups and returns a month. Something particularly important to me and, and a lot of you is over 27,000 pounds of litter has been removed from our community. Sanitation employees showed up and went to work each and every day. They never stopped even as they faced the difficulties of COVID-19. And I wanna say a special thank you for a job well done. 2020 was a challenging year for our police departments nationwide and Conway was no exception. If you look at the six major categories of crime, we will see rates that are dramatically less than they were five years ago in almost every category. Burglaries have decreased by 54%, robberies by 66%, theft by 32%, and motor vehicle theft by 34%. The department also earned reaccreditation from the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, and our officers spent over 16,000 hours training. Thank you to our Conway police officer who showed up every day. Conway continued to build in 2020. Planning and development saw new single-family home permits record a 14-year high at 331, nearly 25% more than the previous year. 
and almost 80 acres of land was annexed into the city. Our planning, permits, and inspection staff kept up their work despite the challenges and allowed the building trades to continue. One of the most significant impacts of COVID-19 was on our Parks Department. Despite the disruption, 12 events were hosted in our sports centers, 32 at the Expo and Event Center, 27 at the twin, uh, Tennis Center, and 19 at the City of Colleges Park and College Station Parks. Also, the city partnered with the Conway Ministry Center to provide a warming shelter at the Don Owen Sports Complex. Our code enforcement and physical plant teams remained active, writing over 760 violations, issuing over 1,900 warnings, and conducting 44 property cleanups. Our physical plant crew has gone above and beyond to keep our facilities clean and safe. The fire department responded to 11,320 calls for service with an average emergency response time of 332. Two additional personnel became uh, registered paramedics, bringing the total of six, and three more have begun the program. They also logged more than 60,000 training hours and were instrumental in the city's response to COVID-19. And since transportation has been such an important focus, I want to back up and share some accomplishments from the past four years. We have completed 13 major street projects, uh, built seven roundabouts, four bridges, and placed more than 100 miles of asphalt on our streets. Several significant projects are currently underway, including Donaghy Avenue, Markham Street, the Salem and Irby Roundabout, and the reconstruction of Hillman Street. And we are excited about future projects, like adding roundabouts at Tyler and Salem, College and Ferris, Hogan and Old Marlton, the replacement of the Salem Bridge, which will take our pedestrians and bicycles underneath the bridge at Tucker Creek, and improvements to Salem Road. Uh, at this time, I want to say a big thank you to Conway Corporation, uh, Brett Carroll and his management team, uh, the, the electric de uh, department, the water department, the engineering teams. They are a great partner with the city and work closely with our transportation and planning departments. Through our Community Develop Block Grant program, we've made a significant impact on our community. Last year, we provided more than $68,000 for transportation support to eight nonprofit agencies. Because of CARES Act funds offered to the city, we were able to provide $100,000 in rental and utility assistance and $70,000 in small business emergency grant. And we've begun architectural work on an overnight emergency shelter that will provide our homeless population uh, with a safe place post-COVID. Important for Conway's future was the 2020 census and our diversity and economic development coordinator spearheaded the effort to make sure everyone was counted. The census determines the population of Conway and the funding that we receive based on that population. We also established the Diversity Advisory Council, which brings together residents from diverse backgrounds to foster dialogue and develop an action plan that promotes a positive sense of culture and community. I think you can tell from the above accomplishments that the City of Conway employees continue to deliver the highest level of service possible, even during an unprecedented time. I'm not only proud of what we've accomplished, but I'm excited about what lies before us. To my knowledge, the strategic plan, will, which will be before the council soon, is the first time the city has had a detailed strategic program of work. It will allow our departments to focus their efforts and provides the framework for the future. I genuinely believe Conway is well positioned. We are a growing, caring, progressive community that works together to get the big things done.